Well, run 50 states my way. We are in Jim Thorpe and there are a bunch of dogs that are very excited. And right across from our Airbnb, which is right there, is the old jail, which we are here to experience. It just opened for the season and this is where the famous Molly McGuire gang was hung. We're gonna go in, get our history on, and we're really excited. So we ask that you like, subscribe and comment down below if you've ever been to Jim Thorpe or if you even know who the Molly Maguire gang is. I actually had to look it up because I had no clue. So we're going to go into the jail and check it out. We are inside the old jail at Jim Thorpe and I want to tell you what the prices are to go in. Tours are about 30 minutes, $11 for adult, $9 for a teenager, $6 for average age children. If you're under age 5, you're free and they do give a discount of a dollar off for veterans and then active duty U.S. military is free. So we um, used the veterans for my father and for Ryan. Inside they have a nice little gift shop, which is super duper cute. The best shirt though is right here. I spent time with the ghosts at the old jail. I'm allowed to film everything but the famous handprint and we're going to talk to you and tell you a little bit about what the handprint is a little bit later, but it has to do with the Molly Maguire gang. Five cells. Thank you, Mommy. I can still see it. Here's where they were hung. Right there. Alright, welcome to Solitary Confinement. Now it's kind of misleading down here right now because there is a light on the wall. As of um, in the old days, it did not have electricity down there. They added that when it became a museum so that you could see things a little bit better. It's kind of deceiving because of that on the other side of the Many men were convicted as Molly Maguires. 21 men were hanged. On one single day in June of 1877, 10 accused Molly Maguires were hanged. Four of those hanging took place on the same, at the same time in this jail. That day is now remembered as Black Thursday. The gallows were erected at this end of the cell block. It contains two trap doors with two men standing at each side. This is the slot where they would collect their food and then go back to their cell and eat it. This room is dedicated to the memory of Correctional Officer Clayton Meeks. And these are some actual relics from the time of the prison. Looks like prison shoes from 1900. They were found in the heating duct in the dungeon. The ducts were within the wall supplying heat to each cell. Hiding shoes in the wall was a German tradition wishing good luck to the homeowner. Perhaps an inmate was looking for better luck. These look like little soap carvings. Handcuffs that were from 1870 to 1880 donated by the Klotz family. Playing cards were found in the heating duct. 
um, of the dungeon with a newspaper dating from 1914. Helmets and rubber baton used in event of a riot. You can see my reflection, but this is the one-way window where guards were able to watch the prisoners from below. We are in the warden's quarters. Yeah. Bathroom. Down here are the women's cells that were later added, which is interesting that they would have been off of the warden's quarters. And here is one of the bedrooms. This is the children's room. Real families did actually live inside of prisons. And then it looks like we have one more room over here. If you think about, it's a nice apartment. Warden's family bedroom. We had an amazing tour inside of the old jail where the Molly Maguires were executed where the haunted handprint is on the wall and where uh, there's just so much history to really soak it in. I love that it was right across from our little Verbo and again I want to show this to you all um, in a future vlog so we're going to do an entire walkthrough of our Verbo rental and we'll put a link to the um, to that in the description below. Um, but yes, definitely if you are in Jim Thorpe and if it's open, check out the old jail because you won't want to miss it. Chocked full of history and we absolutely loved, 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 loved our tour guide. I tried to be mindful of her stories and didn't capture those on video um, because I want you to come to Jim Thorpe and actually experience and enjoy the tour yourself. Um, again, we weren't able to show the handprint because it is copyrighted and protected and they don't want you photographing it. Um, but again, another reason to stop here in Jim Thorpe. It is officially lunch slash dinner time. And we, after the marathon, Ryan loves to have burger, steak, anything red meat. That's always what he craves. So we decided to come to the Marion Post Bar, which is a sandwich and burger um, kind of teeny tiny little hole in the wall. They have really amazing outdoor seating. I will show that in video on the way out. The problem is, is that the sun is right overhead and um, we wanted to not be so hot. The problem inside, and this is the catch, you have to get here early, is because... That's it. It is teeny, teeny, tiny. Great bar. They specialize in um, Jameson Irish whiskey drinks. So my mom got an Irish whiskey um, sour, and I got an Ella. I can't say it. Basically, mine is Tullamore Dew, um, iced tea, raspberry preserves, and lemon. It's delicious. It's like a spiced ice iced tea. It's really good. The burger menu is amazing. Three of us actually ended up with the chunker. We're going to show video of it when it comes out. It's brisket, short rib, Angus beef blend burger, cheddar, lettuce, tomato, onion, smoked ketchup, and bacon jam with kettle chips and slaw. And my dad got the chicken wings. I was also looking at the Wellington, which is a beef tenderloin with mushroom, melted gruyere, Dijon drizzle, mixed greens on a buttered croissant. My mom was also looking at the fish and chips. So it's a great menu, really cute little place, and um, the pictures and the food at the neighboring tables looks amazing, so I think it's gonna be really great too. Check out this burger. Look at this, yum. Oh, the fries look incredible. I'm not allowed to have one, but you know what? My mother, who's nice to me, will give me one. Honey sriracha chicken wings. How are they, Daddy? My dad says they're delicious. Little thing of slaw and chips. All right, for the verdict, Ryan, post marathon, how is it? <laughs> he says it's delicious. Absolutely loves it, and he is very happy. 
All right, the cut view of the burger. Yummy, it's cooked absolutely perfectly. The bacon jam looks amazing. Now to see how it tastes. Just a minute, Bill. Mm, what do you want? So good. Juicy, flavorful, okay, completely so packed. Have a completely packed with flavor. Right there. I can't even talk. It's so good. This is the place you gotta come for dinner in Denver. The out, this is the outside of the Marion Host Company number four. I do believe that this was actually um, Hose Company. Um, I think this was the firehouse. Not completely sure, but I think that that's what this was. <clears throat> the outdoor seating, and as you saw, really tiny on the inside. Jim Thorpe is such a cute little town. Again, if you want an amazing burger, that is where you come. Molly McGuire's was delicious for the shepherd's pie. So far, just absolutely loving Jim Thorpe. Up the hill is where you go toward the old jail. <clears throat> Down that way <clears throat> is toward the train depot. So I'm walking this way to where we're staying. And again, have to say, best burger, I've had in a very, very long time. The bun was almost like a croissant dough. So it was really flaky and buttery and delicious. Um, Ryan was super happy and my dad just devoured the wings. So definitely check out the Marion Hose Company number four for an excellent, excellent meal while in Jim Thorpe. When you're in a town called Jim Thorpe, where else do you come but to find the Jim Thorpe Memorial? Again, the town is named for Jim Thorpe because this is where he is buried. His wife, when he passed, asked a whole bunch of different towns, including ones in, I believe, Oklahoma, where he is from, to, you know, basically bid to have his memorial to celebrate the great athlete that he was and the town that won the bid the town that was willing to support the wife's decision for a memorial was mock chunk in pennsylvania which forever now moving forward will be called jim thorpe what we did learn yesterday is because jim thorpe is native american it was very important that part of the soil that he is actually buried on in and around his memorial is from Oklahoma. So he is truly buried on Oklahoma soil here in Pennsylvania. And here it is. <clears throat> Jim Thorpe. A statue commemorating him. Looks like he's throwing the discus there. And this statue over here shows football. So all American. On that sign, it tells all about the different events of his life. And in 2001, November, was the national unveiling of the General Mills Inc. Theater um, in Jim Thorpe. The Greatest Athlete of the Century was in 2000 by ABC World of Sports. He died in 1953. And in 1954, the National Football League establishes its most valuable player trophy, naming it in honor of Jim Thorpe. The town of Mock Chunk, Pennsylvania became the final resting place of Jim Thorpe and is renamed in his honor. Right down from where he's buried is um, kind of like a Time little timetable museum type thing that really talks about him and his life. This one shows his time in the 1912 Olympics. 
It's a little bit scratched up. You can tell it's been here for quite a while. He then became a professional sportsman. I do believe this is when he started playing baseball as well as football, it looks like. Everything he could do, he did. This last one is more just about him and his life. They got stamps. Stamps commemorating who he was. Yeah. And then this statue here is the spirit of thunder and lightning. Jim Thorpe's Indian name, Watahuk, means path lit up at night by a bolt of lightning. Constructed by the students of Carbon County Area Vocational Technical School to celebrate his life. Another amazing thing to find in Jim Thorpe is behind me, the Harry Packer House, which was used as the model for the Haunted Mansion in Walt Disney World. My favorite attraction in Walt Disney World, so you knew I had to come up to the top of the hill in Jim Thorpe to check it out. Next door is the Asa Packer House, which was his father, and he was the coal tycoon uh, and railroad tycoon. So this right here, is the Asa Packer House and amazing. Check this out. Here is another viewpoint of the Harry Packer House. I literally feel like I am on Walt Disney World property right now. It is so cool and you can definitely tell how this was used by the Imagineers as the model for the Florida Haunted Mansion beautiful beautiful building i wish we could go inside but it was just bought by somebody for 2.6 million dollars and rumor has it that they are going to keep it as the bed and breakfast that it used to be but unfortunately it is closed and you are not able to go inside When we first came in, there were a couple kids over here already playing, but it's not Harry Potter unless you have wizard's chess. Really neat. I love the chair, the attention to detail. Harry Potter books. And if it were a little later, they'd actually have the movies playing, but because it's still early, they don't have the movies playing just yet. Our last stop in Jim Thorpe is Muggles Mug. We finally made it. We came here for breakfast on our way out of town. It is a Harry Potter themed coffee shop. It is super cute. My mom and I are getting ready to have some quiche for breakfast and I got the Mandrake Maple Latte, which sounds absolutely delicious. It has white chocolate, maple, and cinnamon in it and the barista said that it was awesome with oat milk, so that's what I have. And then, again, my mom got just a vanilla latte. We're really excited to experience this cute little shop and have breakfast before we journey to Hershey, Pennsylvania. All right, unboxing my quiche. I got the roasted veggie. Looks delicious. 
there's the fork. <laughs> and let's take a take a look at how this quiche is. Mm. Very light, delicious. Ryan got the buffalo chicken and he's devoured it. I think he likes it. And mom, how's the ham and cheddar? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Now for the mandrake maple latte with oat milk. Oh wow, the barista was so right. Um, it's cinnamony, it's warm, it's creamy, it's absolutely delicious. This is definitely a new favorite latte for me. We also got a gluten-free cream cheese lemon poppy seed muffin. Very moist, not overly dense, and not overly dry. So as a gluten-free muffin goes, these are really good. Well done. Another perk of coming to Muggles Mug is that you can get vegan and gluten-free options. So it is really nice for those who are on an alternative diet. When in Jim Thorpe, check out Muggles Mug. It was a watering hole during the uh, marathon. So uh, check it out if you're here for that, or just if you want to get your Harry Potter and coffee fix, this is the place to come. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. We're off to Gettysburg.